Well, I was having better success at this end, I guess. So I'm really kind of defeating myself because I'm I don't think I'm gonna have enough room to open this. Although this this is supposed to flop out. So <clears throat> if I loosen it up, see this flops over and connects connects underneath there like that. So I should be able to lift it up. I've got enough play in that little connector. I guess it doesn't matter because the connectors, I'm not going to use it anyway, so it, it, you, you can go ahead and rip it if you if you have to. As long as, I think it, it will separate from the from the female on the motherboard. So maybe we ought to just proceed with this side here that I've got such good luck with. If you're trying to preserve your digitizer you might want to have worked from the other side first. I mean I'm not sure if it's going to be too much stress on that uh, flex cable there. I'll be a little cautious because underneath this is that is the uh, LCD screen. Coming around the corner here. No, I'm not getting any action in the bottom. It's all happening at the top and the left side for me. <clears throat> Maybe you'll have better luck. Alright, so what do we got is the uh, I'm kind of getting a little more serious with a a different tool and oh, we're really making some moves here yeah so I can see the cable in there at this point it's just a matter of a moment or two that we can get this up and out It has relinquished its power to me. Not quite yet, but <laughs> so still work on these things, but we're we're making really good progress at this point. need to get a, a little edge up on this other side. You'd think I could just work it out now because there's nothing holding it except the inertia. Here we come. 
Okay, let's use a little bit of deeper force here. Oh, oh, oh well, doesn't matter. Oh boy, see, I'm not getting underneath the um the uh, bezel. That's the problem, or the mid frame as they call it. So I need to get under that in order to get this whole thing up. There we go. There's still enough slack on that on that cable that I can lift it up this far without doing any damage. There it comes. You just have to be careful you don't touch that LCD screen under there. Because the last thing you want to do is have to replace that too. I've done, I've had that problem before where I've Messed up the LCD, putting it back together. So I know how fragile that can be, and things are pretty close, tight. Uh, there's a lot of tight tightness in here. There, well, there's a good separation. I don't want to use my pick here to keep it apart, and. Work it down. There we go. And voila. And I don't believe it. I think I've did I get the right? Yep, I got the right. I got the right one. So we can just peel these. You just lift that up off of that, and uh, turn this uh, turn this over on a soft surface to keep the dust off of the of the screen. And uh, there we are. As I said, uh, the mid frames totaled, and this is a a good replacement. This is a Gen 2, not a Gen 3. And uh, there's my, my, it's ready to go. I'm going to reassemble it now.